Yo, what's going on guys, Professor here, back again with another video. In this video guys, I'm going to be playing it with this Ice Bow deck, and yeah, it's time to play some Ice Bow again, and if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and sub. Um, in my opinion, Ice Bow is one of the most solid decks that you guys can play, uh, like in any meta. Basically in any meta, Not it has like its downfalls and, you know, downfalls and uphills and stuff, but I would say right now, currently Ice Bow is one of the most solid decks that you guys can play. And it's really good. And also, if you guys want to get better, I would say, at the game and stuff, it's also, I highly recommend you guys to start off learning Ice Bow. Because there's a lot of interactions and a lot of skills that you guys can learn through playing this uh, deck. I feel like um, this guy's running Expo. Yeah, he's running Expo Rocket with LP. Uh, one of the best Expo decks in the meta right now. Also in the last meta, in the last season, it was the best Expo deck. Alongside the Ice Bow. These two uh, Expo decks are the best uh, right now. Uh, but yeah, the the other one that this guy's playing is a meta deck. So as you guys know, LP is getting nerfed. So after the LP nerf, the deck is going to be gone. And But the Ice Bow is going to be still viable even though after the nerfs and buffs. And also as you guys know, the Evo Tesla is going to get nerfed. Same as the Evo Knight, but still it's not going to impact this. Uh, imp I don't think that it's going to impact the Ice Bow a lot to be honest because... Giants is also getting a nerf, which is one of the biggest counters to the Ice Bow right now. And, um, yeah, I feel like there will be, not, like, not a lot of counters to the Ice Bow. So, because of that, I don't think so. The nerf to the Evo Knight and Evo Tesla is going to affect the deck too much. So, okay, um... I feel like I just cycle my Knight because of that X Bow. And then I'm going to play Ice Bow. I mean, Ice Bow, sorry. <laughs> so, Ice Bow... I it's the second time I'm seeing Ice Bow. I swear this is going to take care of that Expo, I'm pretty sure. So I don't need to play anything else, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I'm fine. I'm going to just go Expo on the opposite. I'm going to play Evo Tesla. Because his only option to defend the Expo is Tesla. And uh, yeah, even though if he plays the Tesla, my Tesla is going to wreck that. I'm going to just play my Knight on top of the OP. And that is going to be a lot of damage for me. I'm going to go Skeleton as well with this Knight to be more annoying. And, you know, force out a lot of Elixir out of him. And just cycle my Ice Wiz. At the back, I'm going to be ready with my rocket. If he goes like Expo over here, he's going to fireball. I'm going to go Expo and I'm going to predict the knight with the Nado 3 to 1 knight. And yeah, easy prediction over there. And I think like it's just game over for this guy. I don't think so. he's going to win from this point. You can just go like an Expo now and I'm going to just rocket that. Whoa, that <laughs> that rocket value is going to be insane, bruh. Yeah, it's just GG's. So 10 seconds remaining. Yeah, it's actually like this guy gave up. So yeah. I'll take the win and I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the next game here up against Paddy O O O. So let's see who's he playing. Gonna start in my second my login. Oh my god, lava first play. Let's give this guy a clap for playing so much skillfully. Lava first play. And also go expo opposite lane of him. He's gonna go E I drag. I'm not going to do anything about it because Dutch is gonna just straight up kill it. And I don't know, I don't know, I'm gonna go for the rocket for those skeleton dragons because I can't kill them in any other way. And then I feel like I'll wait for the lava hand to die, so I'm gonna go ice whiz. I don't want to play ice whiz too soon because you might spam balloon at me, so then I couldn't afford the Tesla, so it was better to wait. So okay, let's see what he's gonna do now. Pretty good defense over there at our end, and we got a lot of damage from our ice, uh, not ice, was, uh, what's it called, expo at the opposite lane. Let's go for the night, same lane of that, I'm gonna go skillies, I'm gonna just cycle my log, see what it is go. Dude, are you kidding me? Wow, man, this is, this is the state of game right now, bro, like, they just, people just be playing Lava Hound at the bridge and, you know, breaking two getting damage and calling themselves pros and you know making insane egos for themselves so i just go for my i feel like i just let the lava hound goes i mean lava pops because if i play the ice phase or anything it's going to be over commitment on mine so yeah we'll take the uh, but we have more damage so that's what matters i'm pretty sure that i can defend from this point easily without any problem and all i need is like one more expo lock and i'm gonna win the game I don't have Expo in my cycle. I'm pretty sure he's going to go Lava Hound at the bridge again. I don't... I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure he's going to play at the bridge. Uh, see what he... Okay, he played I drag. So I'm pretty sure he cannot play the Lava Hound now. He cannot afford it. So I can counter everything with a log. 
and then I am going to go for my Expo. Yeah, I'm going to go Expo. His Void is out of hand. He only has Valkyrie in hand right now. I'm going to go Knight for that. He's going to go for that. I'm going to rocket it. Yeah, I might be crazy for doing this, but trust me, that is a play. I'm going to go Skellies, predict the Void. Never mind. He arrowed it. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I'm going to go Evo Tassel and then, and then I'm going to go Expo. If he goes Lava Hound, he's dead. But... Okay, he didn't go Lava Hound, but he cannot. He still can't defend this. What is he going to do? The only thing that he can do is just avoid. And I am going to go for my... I'm going to Nado this, and then I'm going to Knight. Wow, that was the worst Void of all time, bro. And yeah, that is, that's basically just GG. So yeah, we'll take the win right there. And I'm going to BM this guy. And we'll rocket his tower. GG's. And I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the next game here up against Ali Albayiti Ali Albayiti 2. So let's see what he's playing. Uh, okay, let's see what he's gonna do. I'm gonna just go for my skellies. And uh, one of the most important things about the uh, Ice Bow is that you guys never ever have to go Expo first play. Like, never ever 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 ever. Don't play your Expo first because you're gonna just get wrecked for it. So don't do it. And it's one of the basically worst plays that you guys can do. Just wait for your enemy to do something, you know, you have to wait for them to make the first move and stuff. And then, uh, you know, according to the situation, then you guys have to play your expo. If you go expo first play, you're just dead, man. So that's like one of the most important things that I can give you when you're playing ice bow. So this guy's playing golem. Mm, that golem is going to get shredded. So you got golem, firecracker, fireball. The firecracker is going to be pain in the ass, not going to lie, but... Defending other stuff, so I would say it was it is going to be pretty much easy. So I'm gonna just go for my knight at the back. He got the skeleton army, it's all good with me. I'm gonna just uh I feel like I just go for my uh skellies at the back and then hmm I go ice whiz and then I am going to go X bow if he fireballs this ice bow because if he does that then he's not oh never mind, he played the firecracker. Now he can't afford the golem, I'm pretty sure. He's gonna go for that. I'm gonna just go Tesla to pr protect my expo. And that is a connection. Perfect. Let's go. The Duchess, uh, the Duchess is going to wreck everything at the right hand lane. And that is a lot of damage for us. So, yeah, this is exactly what you guys have to be doing. You guys have to recognize the situation, how much elixir your enemy has, and stuff. And what car cycle are they in? You know, which car do, do they have in their cycle? And then you guys have to go expo and protect it and stuff. So I just go for my log, he's gonna go golem at the back, I'll just cycle my skellies, and then I'll go for my knight, same lane of that golem. And then I'll cycle my ice wizard, and then go for my tesla. So, hmm. Let's see what he's going to do, he's back to the evil firecracker though. So I have to nade log it if he plays it, that's like the only way that I can kill it. He's gonna go for that, I'm gonna go log, he's gonna play the firecracker like that. He's not going to get, okay, he's still got one firecracker shot on the tower. Let's go for the knight to kill it, and then I'm gonna go ice whiz for this e-drag. And then I'm gonna go for the, okay, I want to go expo, but he played golem like in a really weird spot. I'm just play ice, uh, expo at the opposite lane. He's gonna go e-drag, I'm all good with that. I'm gonna still get some expo damage, so I'll just go for my... Tesla at the middle, Skellies to damage the Golem down. And then I'll just go for my Knight at the back. Uh, I want to... Yeah, I'm going to rocket that. Never mind. I'm going to rocket that. It's a little bit over commitment on my end. But trust me, that is the play. That's the right play. That's the correct play. As a guy who was like this, I want to... I was lock the Firecracker so it dies. But it's all good. I was going to take care of those uh, Skeletons. Well, he went Golem. I'm going to go Expo to lane of it once again. Get that some nice damage. And then go for my Tesla at the middle to defend that Golem Knight, which push to get ready to defend that, that push. And then I'll just go for my, yo, is that going to die? No, the Firecracker didn't. I'm going to just go rocket this uh, Night Witch and the Golem. And then I'll just go for my Log and that is clean defense over there. And I feel like I just go for my Knight to damage the Golem pops down. Wait, what is this guy doing? Let's go Tesla. He's gonna is he gonna spam Firecracker in this into this one? By the way, he's back to the evil one, I'm pretty sure. I'll just go rocket. Okay, that was like a lot of like so this guy spent. I'm just gonna rocket that. I'm gonna log NATO the firecracker. Don't take the second shot, thank you very much. And let's go for my ice wish to kill those skellies. And we're pretty much fine. I'm pretty sure that log NATO and rocket is going to be enough, so I'm gonna just log now. 
Psycho Skellies, go for the Nado and the Log and that is GG. So really nice win against Golem and I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the last game here up against uh, Yusuf Bass. So let's see what he's playing. Gonna start again my Psycho and my Log, see what is he's playing. So he's gonna go for the Knight at the back. I'm just going for my Ice Waves, the same lane of it. See what is he's going to do. And then, according to his plays, I'm gonna play. So he's gonna go Baby Dragon. Pretty sure it should be Splash or something. Just go for my Tesla like this up high to snipe that Baby Dragon and also the Knight. And then I'm gonna go Expo opposite lane because he has po Poison. Wait, what? He got the Lava Hound. Okay, what type of Lava Hound deck is this? I mean, Knight makes sense. Baby Dragon, like, kind of makes sense, but... I've never seen this type of Lava Hound deck before, so... He's just eating all that expo damage. He's a wild child for that, bro. What is he doing? Got a mini P.E.K.K.A. and my cycle is so bad. I don't have Tesla in hand. I'm gonna rocket this. I missed the mini P.E.K.K.A. Didn't I? Oh my god, I'm so trash. I'm gonna nado, 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 nado the mini P.E.K.K.A. And then no way that mini P.E.K.K.A. got a hit, bro. That was like the perfect nado, man. It couldn't get much better than that. And it still got a hit. And okay, it sucks, man. Right, I could have defended that so much easily if I hit that mini P.E.K.K.A. with the rocket at the first place. But, okay, it's all good. You got the tombstone. That's, like, kind of annoying, but it's all good. I'm just going to log that. He's going to go Lava Hound, I'm pretty sure, at the back. So, yeah, there's a Lava Hound. I'm going to go Expo anyway. It's not the best Expo, but I don't know, just to get some damage, maybe. I mean, not get damage, force out something out of him gonna go for my tesla like this and then i might have to i don't know how to deal with the and flying machine though to be honest that's like one of the most annoying thing in, in his deck nothing else is annoying except that flying machine mm, i don't know man i have to rocket nato this that's like the only yeah like that that's the only defense that i that's the only thing that i can do you know even though it's not like the best play, it's not going to defend everything, but yeah, there you go. He's just spamming everything at the bridge, bro. You're so good, man. Mm, okay, I have to go for my knight as well, I'm pretty sure, bro. This guy's just spamming everything at the bridge, well. Average Lava Hound player. I'm gonna just go for my... I wanna go Expo, but like, it makes no sense. If he doesn't have a big spell, like, is if his only spell is arrow, arrows, I can defend for 30 seconds, I'm gonna win the game instantly. Oh my, oh my god, bro, I, I want to play the log, not the expo, bro. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't matter too much since he got the uh, lightning, so yeah, it's all good. I'm just going for my knight like this, and then I am going to play my ice whiz on top of that. On top of those skillies and also that flying machine, I'm going to go expo like this at the middle. See what he's going to do. Wait, I'm going to nade it, I'm pretty sure the expo is going to lock onto the tower. Yeah, there you go, that's nice. I'm gonna rocket it all of this because I have to. Otherwise, I can't defend all of that push once they enter my arena. So, okay, we got a lot of damage. That's exactly what we need. I don't know why he's playing his mini pack outs like that. Like, why did he play them? He could have just played on top of the ice with and killed the ice with instantly, but it's all good. I'll just nade everything together and then I'm gonna go for my log and then knight. And we should be fine. Wow, that was quite good defense. I'll just go for my Ice Wiz. I'll go Scaly. I'm going to NATO everything like this. And okay, we're fine. I'm, oh my gosh, I got Tesla. Uh, I'm going to have to get this Knight down. No, I have to log that. Oh my god, I have to log that stupid Mini P.E.K.K.A. Bro, this Mini P.E.K.K.A. is just costing me the game, bro. Okay, it's all good. I'm going to go for my Ice Wiz at the back. Definitely not going to go Expo. I'm gonna wait for him a bit, see what he's going to do. I'm gonna lock that tombstone away. And then I'm gonna go expo now. And then I'll go scalies to predict the mini pack. Okay, he played it over there. Yes, play the knight now. Let's go for my knight on top of his own knight. I'll go Tesla like this. And are we gonna get small connection? No, we don't. I'm gonna just rocket Nado the baby D and the flying machine. At least we hit the flying machine. It's all good. I'm okay with that one. So, I'll go for this. No, wait, why is the flying machine is not getting targeted anymore? That sucks, it's all good. Let's go skillies. I'm gonna wait for the mini pickup to enter the nado... What's it called? Nado tile? Nado range? Yeah, nado range, so I can nado that. I'm gonna go for my knight to put some pressure on him. I'm gonna go ice wizard, tesla, and then 
I'm gonna nade everything, and we should be fine. Yeah, that 10 seconds remaining, there's nothing you can do over here. Lightning is not going to be enough. So yeah, really nice win against Lava Hound. And if you guys did enjoy the video, thank you very much for watching. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and sub. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.